The search for quick-fix weight loss drugs is leaving diabetics in the dust. Samantha Stevens says her drug hasn't been hit with a shortage like Ozempic, Wegovy, or Mongero until now. She's been taking Victoza for five years. There's no question. It's one of those things. It's not like some things you can skip a dose. If I skip more than like one dose, yes, I, I would have problems. Stevens has lost some weight since taking the drug, but that's not why she's prescribed it. Victoza isn't approved for losing weight, unlike its sister drug, Saxenda. Stevens says she can't jump around drugs. You build up a, a resistance to those or usage of those to a point where you can't just switch to another brand. Uh, really, the only option you have is finding it. She has two pens left, which brings her close to a month's supply. Medex Pharmacy says it never has all the diabetes drugs in supply. There's always one facing a shortage. Sometimes it's like one, one of these drugs goes back or and then, then the other one, and then it's the same, the other one again. When a patient can't get their prescription, Anwar works with the physicians to find an alternative. But it can be a toss-up with the suppliers. We never know what suppliers have, what, what time. So, I mean... But, but the thing is that not every strength is available all the time. But we have to like keep checking every day. That pharmacist says demand for Ozempic has steadied for now. Its highest dosage has limited availability through the end of this year. Kyle? All right, Paige, thank you so much. A single prescription of these drugs can cost you around $900. That's a month. That's if your insurance doesn't cover it. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.